Hello guys, welcome to another section where you know this section is going to be relatively very simple. So in the previous section, we basically looked at uh, the responder chain, right, uh, and the actor chat prompt template. Uh, in this section, we are going to be building out the reviser uh, chain. Okay, so this is going to be relatively very simple. We already know how we uh, wrote the responder chain, right? So we reused some of the reflection, uh, I mean the actor prompt template. We just changed the first instruction right here, right? So we have the actor prompt template and to build out the responder chain, we just changed the first instruction alone and then we created a chain out of it. We provided a tool as well to ground its response. So we are going to be doing the exact same thing for the re revisor as well. So this should be pretty easy for you to understand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this the revisor uh, chain and I'm going to use the same actor prompt template that we've written right here. So, and then I'm going to say partial and I'm going to pre-populate the first instruction alone. So you, the same thing that we did right here. So I'm just going to, you know, pre-populate with some data right here, some content. So let me just copy paste the content right here. Okay, so this is going to be the revised instruction. So essentially what we're saying is, Revise your previous answer using the new information. You should use the previous critique to add important information to your answer. You must include numerical citations in your revised answer to ensure it can be verified. We also ask it to add a references section at the bottom of your answer, which does not count towards the word limit. So at the bottom, we, have, we suggested to add these links. You should also use the previous critique to remove superfluous information from your answer and make sure it is not more than 250 words, right? So I hope that makes sense. Whatever the responder is providing, the reviser has to look at all of that based on the critique that the responder provided and based on the search results, it needs to generate a revised response. Okay, so that is what we mean right here. All right, now let me just copy this and put it over here. Perfect. So the chain is not yet ready yet because we still have to ground the response of the LLM in this particular revised response structure, right? So it's basically very similar to what we did in the responder chain. We had this, uh, you know, let's go back to the schema. So we had the answer question uh, model, right? The pedantic model. So this had the answer search queries and reflection. If we come back to the diagram, this also has the same answer, I mean the response, critique and search, no different. But in addition to that, we just have the citations right here, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and create a separate class for this thing called revise answer. You can name it pretty much anything that you want. And this revise answer is going to inherit all of the base properties as the answer question. So if you remember, there is a lot of overlap, right? So I'm just going to put it right here. And then let me just copy paste some code. All right. So all that this is doing is it's going to inherit all of the answer question, you know, uh, these fields. And then we are saying revise your original answer to your question. And then in addition to all of that, we are just providing the references. So this is going to be a list of strings and the description is going to be citations motivating your updated answer. All right. I hope that makes sense. Now let's come back to the chain and very, very similar to what we did in the responder chain. So let me scroll up right here so that you can see. So this is the responder chain. All that we're doing is we are piping this template with the bind tools and then we are forcing it to only use the answer question tool responder, right? So we are going to do the same thing here as well. So this is going to be the prompt template. Let's pipe it. So let's go ahead and pipe it with the LLM. So we are going to say bind tools. And then let's provide in the tools, which is going to be an array of this particular revise answer schema. So let's provide that here. Okay, so it is not imported. Let me go up here and let's quickly import it. Okay, perfect. And we're also forcing it to only use this particular revise answer, which is now going to be a string as well. And that is pretty much it. So let's come back to the diagram. So, so far we built out the responder chain we've built out the revisor chain. In the next section, we are also going to be building out the third component, which is going to be the execute tools uh, method, right? So once we have all of the building blocks done, connecting it all together using land graph becomes a piece of cake. Okay, so I'll see you in the next section.